Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilology, the study of civil engineering. In this video, we are going to learn how to prepare a BBS of a rectangular or square column. Okay, this is the shape or format of BBS which is followed all over the world in which we give the details about description or you can say the types of bars, its dia, number of bars required, the length of each bar, the weight of a single bar per meter and the total quantity or you can say the weight of steel required for a each column or single column or for the number of columns. In this video we are going to follow simple five steps to prepare this format. Okay, so you guys are requested to watch complete video so that you do not miss a single point. At the end of this video you will be able to make BBS of any type of column. So before we start our today's topic, if you are new to my channel, you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates. So let's start our today's topic. First of all, we will have to have a column. Let's suppose we have a column and the dimensions of the column are as you can see over here. The height of the column is 3.5 meters and let us go into details and extract some internal details of the column and we will have to cut the cross section which is called as section AA and internal details are as you can see over here the side, side A of a column as this is a rectangular column both sides are different so the one dimension is 450 millimeter and the dimension of other side is 350 millimeters okay as this is a rectangular column and clear cover which is also called as concrete cover which is provided on all four sides of the column to protect the steel from erosion and to provide a concrete cover which is 40 millimeter and the number of bars as you can see over here in this section the total number of vertical bars are 6 and the dia of vertical bar is equal to 20 millimeters and the dia of tie bar is 8 millimeter as you can see over here these are the ties the one you are seeing in blue colors and this is the cross section of tie and it is it also shows the shape of the tie okay so these are the details for which we are going to make bbs okay and the spacing of ties is 150 millimeter okay we are keeping it simple to make you understand that how it works okay this is the uh, diameter of tie bar 8 millimeter and spacing is 150 millimeters from center to center and this procedure basically involved two steps first step is calculation of vertical bars which means that we will calculate the length weight of vertical bars and the second step is to calculate the ties which involves the calculation of length and calculation of weight okay so guys stay tuned and just focus on the screen okay Step number one, calculation of vertical bars. Length of one vertical bar is equal to H plus LD, where H is the height of the column and LD is the development length. As you can see over here, this length is provided to make a bond between the steel foundation and column. The between the bond between the steel of foundation and column, which is also called as encourage length. To make the better bonding and encourage of concrete and steel okay this is called as development length and development length is usually taken as 40 times diameter of the bar 40 times diameter of the bar and the height as you know we have already discussed the height of the column is 3.5 meters which is 3500 millimeters and by simplifying we will get 3500 plus 800 and it is going to be 4300 millimeters this is the length of one vertical bar and if you convert it into meters it will be equal to 4.3 meters so this is the length of one vertical bar okay and we had seen in a cross section that total number of vertical bars are six as you can see over here in this cross section so the total length of vertical bars required will be equal to the number of bars 
which is 6 okay and the length of a single bar is 4.3 meters so the total length of vertical bars will be equal to 25.8 meters of 20 millimeter bar will be required for this column okay so let us calculate the weight how to calculate the weight of a bar you will use this formula if you want to convert if you want to find out the weight in kg per meters there are different and number of formulas to calculate the unit weight of a bar i have made a detailed video on this topic uh, you can simply click on the i button to watch that video or you can uh, go to the description box the link is given there must watch that video okay so this formula will be used to calculate the unit weight of a bar which is d square divided by 162.162 here d is the diameter of vertical bar these are the vertical bars okay and their diameter is 20 millimeters so diameter square divided by 162 we will get the weight per meter which is 2.47 kg per meter this is the weight of a 1 meter long bar whereas total length is required uh, here is 25.8 meters so the total weight of vertical bars will be equal to total length multiplied by unit weight you will get the total weight of vertical bar which comes out to be 63.724 kg so this is the weight of vertical bar total weight of vertical bar is required for this single column okay now coming towards second step which is about calculation of ties so first of all we will have to calculate the uh, simplify it okay as this is a rectangular column in square column we do not have these issues as all sides are similar but in rectangular column both sides are different okay so we will have to find the side a of a column side a we will have to deduct the clear cover from both sides that is horizontal distance which is 450 minus 2 times clear cover if we are calculating this distance as you can see over from here to here we will have to deduct the concrete cover as steel is inside and concrete cover, concrete cover is extending beyond it okay so we will have to deduct the clear cover from both sides which is 2 times 40 is the clear cover which comes out to be 370 millimeters so this is the one side or you can say these two sides these two sides of the ties length of ties of these two sides which is 370 millimeter so let us now calculate the side b vertical distance which is 350 this is the vertical distance and we will have to deduct the clear cover from up and down on both sides which comes out to be 350 minus 80 and it comes out to be 270 millimeters so now we will have to calculate the cut length of one tie as you can see over here if we make this shape we will have to bend this and to make this shape okay how to calculate this length so we will use this formula that is 2 times a a is the distance from here to here up and down and b is the distance from here right and left side okay 2 times a 2 times b plus hook as you can see over here here are two number of hooks as you can see over here and there are bends as well so if we go into detail you will see there are two number of hooks as you can see over here there are two number of hooks and then there is 90 degree bends as you can see over here this is one two and three three 90 degree bends and 135 degree bends two number of 135 degree bends as you can see over here if we bend this in this direction and similarly if we bend this in this direction it makes the angle of 135 degree so this angle is 135 so there are two numbers of 135 degree bands okay and by putting the values the hook length is usually taken as 10 times d and some some sometimes you will see uh, it is actually from 6d to 10d okay depending upon the importance of structure and bend length as we discussed over here there are three numbers of 90 degree band and bend deduction for 90 degree is 2d where d is the di di diameter of this stirrup okay or tie and there are two number of 135 degree band and for 135 degree band deduction is three times diameter of the bar and by putting the values we will get the length of a single tie bar okay 
which is 1.312 meters it's mean that 1.312 meter length will be required to make shape of this stirrup okay now let us calculate the number of ties how many ties will be required for this column of 3.5 meter height okay so this is the formula to use total length divided by spacing plus 1 total length as you can see over is 3500 divided by 150 is the spacing spacing between these two tie bars spacing between these two tie bars center to center distance 150 and plus 1 will be added we will get the value 24.33 numbers you can say 25 numbers of stirrups will be required if we place these stirrups at the distance of 150 mm from center to center and the total length of tie bars will be equal to as we know that total number of ties required is 25 and the weight of a single length of a tie bar is 1.312 so the total length will be equal to 32.8 meters so the total length of 8 mm bar required to make stirrups for this column will be 32.8 meters okay and now let us calculate the weight of tie bars uh, similarly same formula will be used for unit weight uh, unit weight calculation that is h square divided by 162.162 and we will get 0.395 that is the unit weight of 8 mm bar is 0.395 and now we know that total length required is 32.8 so we will multiply 32.8 with the unit weight of 8 mm bar we will get 13 kg so 13 kg of 8 mm bar will be required to make stirrups for this column okay all things have been calculated now we will just put this into this table so for this column vertical bars the dia vertical bar is 20 mm total number of bars required is six numbers and the length of a single bar is 4.3 meters and the unit weight of 20 mm bar is 2.47 so the total quantity or total weight of steel required for vertical bars which have the shape like this l shape which is the height plus development length so this weight of steel will be required for stirrups the dia stirrup is 8 mm total number of stirrups is 25 and the weight of a single bar is a uh, unit weight is 1.312 sorry the length required for a single stirrup is 1.312 and the unit weight of a uh, 8 mm bar is 0.4 so the total weight required for making stirrups or ties for this column having shape like this it is 13 kg of steel will be required so guys that's all for today i hope you have understand the topic for similar videos you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today